Welcome back IGCSE students. This is uh, a little video on frequency tables and using frequency tables uh, to work out mean, uh, median, uh, mode and range. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm just going to do one example and I've got that one here. Um, I'm trying to find the uh, mode first of all of this data here. So let's look at the frequency table and see what it means. Uh, number of pets. So we've got 20 children um, and uh, we asked them if they how many pets they had. So five children said that they had um, no pets, right? Five children, no pets. Nine children, that's frequency nine, had one pet. Four had two pets, one had three pets, and one had four pets. So in this case, the mode is uh, going to be uh, one pet. Uh, nine children had one pet, right? So the mode is one pet. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, you're looking for the highest frequency, in other words. Uh, now let's have a look at the range. That's a nice, easy one. Um, we have a range of between zero and four. Uh, so obviously uh, we can say that the range is four. Uh, now the next one I will do is the median. Now there are 20 children. In the previous video we worked out how to do medians. We did something like this, didn't we? 20 divided by two equals 10. And that meant since we've got even number here, we know that we're going to find the 10th and 11th item of data and find the middle of those. So how you do this without writing everything out and taking forever is you go, all right, we'll start at the bottom here, five, okay, and then when we get into here, by the time we get past one pet, we've come up to 14 since five plus nine is 14. So our 10th and 11th number must be in here. So that means our median is one pet. Finally, mean. How do we find the mean? Well, to do the mean, um, we uh, the best way of doing it, I think, is to add in another column underneath here called fx. Some of you, year, year 11s, you're going to remember this. Some of you year 10s may remember it from last year. To find fx, you times the frequency by this item of data here. This is x. So 5 times 0, 0. 9 times 1, 9. Uh, 2 times 4, 8. 3 times 1, 3. 4 times 1, 4. Okay, so the mean is going to be, uh, and we write it this way, the sum of fx all over uh, the number of items of data. Okay. Um, I, I, I think I've just made a slight error here. Um, I'm, I've written it in function format, which I don't want to do. So fx, right? I'll get rid of those brackets. Um, probably doesn't matter too much. I just don't want to confuse anyone. So it should be the sum of fx, just like that, fx. Okay. Now, uh, the sum of fx is going to be uh, 0 plus 9 plus 8 plus 3 plus 4. And we know that there are 20 items of data. And so this is going to give us a mean of, uh, what's that, 17, uh, 20, 24 divided by 20. So 24 divided by 20 is going to give us 6 over 5, which is 1.2 pets is our median. Uh, our mean, sorry, our mean. Okay, um, you might be wondering what this fx business is. Well, another way of uh, writing it, we could have just gone, well, we've got some people with zero pets, and we've got five of them, so it's like zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. And then 
uh, we've got nine people who have one pet, so I'd write one plus one plus one plus one plus one. Plus one. But, but you know that that's going to be uh, equal to uh, zero and nine, and then you've got four lots of two, and that's going to be eight. So this is just a, a short way of uh, working things out by finding out what fx is. Okay, well I hope that helps you uh, make a start on this exercise. Do let me know if you're having any issues, um, and I'll see how I can help you. All right, good luck team.